we will see how to find total number of email in our inbox this is my gmail inbox this string contains the value of total number of email in our inbox so in this example we have 26 as the value which represents the total number of emails in our inbox now we need to get this string and we need to split this string with respect to spaces so that we can divide this into multiple strings and get the required value out of it so if you see when I divide with respect to spaces that value 26 came in the fifth position we'll start the code something like this browser title equal to let's find the title of this browser so the title of the browser is gmail inbox we'll just see what is the title of the page to so that is also same as the browser so browser dot page same title so to get the string value we will spy that object to find out which kind of object it is so the object is type web element and we will identify one or two properties which uniquely identifies that object okay so we need this value that is outer text this value uniquely identifies that object it's a web element this is outer text for us and I am adding one more property to this that is index why I have put index is because we have the same web element two times in the same web page that is this is one time and there is one below so to distinguish between these two are uh, given index equal to zero index equal to zero will show that it will take the first web element of this type which has outer text of this format next would be dot get arrow property in this we would be taking the outer text value of that web element we will assign the value of the web element to a variable called total I will give a message box for this total element. Run and see how this behaves. So we have got the string value
so the next thing would be splitting the string value with respect to spaces and get the fifth value out of that split so we'll use the split function so total is a variable whose value we are going to split and space is what we are using as a delimiter here and we want the fifth value so once we split this it becomes an array so to get the fifth value we will be using fourth value out of it so this will give us the fifth value which represents the total number of emails in our inbox so now we will message box this let's run and see let's run and see how this code behaves we got the string value there is it so we got the total number of emails in our inbox that is 26 let's see where the code that we have created works for all the scenarios to test that I am going to send a mail to myself so that our total number of emails count increases so I am going to send it as QTP world 2010 Hello students. So now if you see here the count has increased by one. So now it's twenty seven. Let's see whether our code works for this new change or not let's run the script okay now we got an error the error says cannot identify the object web element of class web element verify that the object properties match an objects currently displayed in your application uh, when we wrote our code the outer text was 1 to 25 of 26 older now if you see the web element outer text has changed to 1 of 25 1 slash 25 of 27 so it means the property of the object has changed so whatever code we have made is no longer valid for this new change so in these cases where the object properties keep on changing or they are dynamic we use regular expressions regular expressions are mainly used to handle dynamic objects so let's see how we are going to use the regular expression and test the same thing I'm just going to comment our previous code so this was the earlier line of code that we had I'm going to make use of regular expression in the outer text this is the value that keeps changing whenever new mails come So 
here I am substituting the value of 1 to slash d plus I'll tell you why I am using this instead of 25 I'm going to use again slash d plus and and I'm substituting 26 older greater than symbol to dot star now I'll tell you why I substituted this there are many number of regular expressions in that one of them is slash d plus slash d plus is used for multiple occurrence of numeric numbers dot star we use to substitute it to the multiple occurrence of any kind of it might be characters might it be numbers or it may be special characters so we can substitute in the place of any number of characters any number of characters of any type so slash d plus was used substitute 1 so even if it was 12 of 25 then also it should have worked and then instead of 25 25 is a numeric digit so I use slash d plus and 26 older greater than symbol has all the things it has a character it has a special symbol it has a number so I have used dot star now you might be wondering why I kept this hyphen this off symbol as it is that's because in every object that will be same so there is no change in there only those places which keeps on changing or those values which keeps on changing we just need to substitute that with the regular expression other than those we can just keep as it is so let's run the script and test whether it works so we have got the value of the string so this is the total number of email count in our inbox let's test this new script by sending one more email to our inbox so that the total email count increments we'll just send one more mail to the same inbox Hello friends. So now the total email count has incremented to 1 and it's 28 now. Let's run the script. We'll just modify the message box. We'll see the total email count is running the script so the new change also has been accommodated in the script so it's handling the changes in the email count okay it has taken the string value and it's saying the total email count is 28 so this is the way how we use regular expression in our script